Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 27, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our online trainings, and also our courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and this was an absolutely amazing day for the cryptocurrency market. It has been uh, two horrible weeks for Bitcoin, for example. We got towards the all-time highs here at the 64K and then broke down all the way down to 46K. So a massive fall of over 20, 20%. And today we rallied, give or take, 12%. So we haven't gotten back towards where, where we were. And uh, if you look at, at the technical uh, aspect of this, then there are few obstacles that Bitcoin has to get through. First of all, we're still trending underneath the 20 exponential. We're trending still underneath the 50 moving average. And these 10 indicators, even though they are turning around and they should be turning around when you have a rally of 12% in a day, then we could see the 20 exponential act as resistant. And if, that, if it does act as resistant, that could basically mean that we could basically drop back towards these lows. And we are just seeing a rally up towards the 20 exponential or the 50, and then we break even lower. So we need to break above and basically close above the 50 moving average in order to determine that we are basically going to go higher here. So if you look at technical indicators, we got we can see that the MACD is in negative territory and well below the signal line. Stochastic has crossed the signal line and is bullish. CCI is still underneath minus zero, minus a hundred, so it is still bearish. The, the RSI has completely turned around and is bullish at this point. So it's a very interesting market and a very volatile market and extremely risky market to to trade. Uh, but there's a lot of action, probably also because there's so much hype. If there is a massive drop in this market, it is basically all over the place in news and uh, people will take advantage of that. So that could also be what basically is happening here, that, that, that it was basically all over the news that the market had dropped by 20-30%. And uh, yes, it was becoming cheap. So people are buying into that as well. So let's look at Ethereum. So very similar here. So this has been uh, outperforming Bitcoin the last few weeks. Um, it has found major support at the 20 exponential. So we're trading at 24, uh, 2463 at this current stage. Technical indicators have all turned around. And at this point, if we manage to break above these previous highs, which acted as resistant today, we'll mostly go towards 3000. So this has been in a clear uptrend where the 20 and the 50 have offered major support. So let's look at Cardano. So also here, so this is also looking better than Bitcoin. We are trading just at the 20 exponential, have broken the 50. So we did have two uh, really bad weeks where we fell all the way down to 0 0.91 and now we're trading at the 12, uh, 13. So if we get another candlestick here, uh, a green candlestick tomorrow, then we could go and basically challenge these previous highs again. Technical indicators are all turning around for Cardano and uh, at this current stage, it looks far better, for example, than Bitcoin. However, if we if we break down from here, then we'll most likely go and test the previous uh, lows down here at the bottom of the Bullinger Band. This was fairly oversold and that's why also we snapped back so the very bottom here will be around uh, one dollar so let's look at litecoin so also here we are actually testing the 20 exponential and are pulling back from the 20 exponential so we're trading just in between the 50 and the 20 exponential technical negative for this cryptocurrency are fairly mixed so we can see that the MACD is still in bullish territory, but well underneath the signal line. Stochastic is about to cross the signal line, becoming bullish. And the CCI is actually in negative territory, but it's turning around. The RSI is bullish at this point. So this fell from, give or take, 332 all the way down towards 
207 and now we're trading at give or take 240. So if we manage to break above the 20 exponential, then we most likely go back towards the previous highs. If we basically break, continue breaking down from here, then we'll need to break below the 50 in order to go towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at NEO. So NEO has found major support uh, at 20 exponential. Some some of these cryptocurrencies has been have been doing far better, for example, than Bitcoin. Usually they follow Bitcoin, but some of them are doing very, very well and far better than, for example, Bitcoin. They're finding major support, for example, at the middle of the bullish band or the 20 exponential. And for example, NEO has basically tested the 20 exponential now the last uh, four trading days and uh, today it has basically been rallying. And this looks like we are about to turn around and head back towards the upside. Technically, they are fairly bullish. The RSI is bullish. CCI is above zero and heading towards 100, which is bullish territory. And we have the stochastic crossing the signal line, becoming bullish, while the MACD is bearish at this current stage. If we break below the 20 exponential, then we could head all the way down to the 50 moving average, down here at 58. So let's look at Dash. So also here, very similar to Litecoin, is trending in between the 50 and the 20 exponential, broke down from the very highs here at 403, all the way down towards 220 and 229. And today we have recovered quite a bit, but still found a major resistance at the 20 exponential. If we manage to break above here, then we'll retest these previous highs, break below here, then we'll test the 50 moving average and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. So let's look at Fran. So Fran, very similar to all of the other cryptocurrency, basically rallied, broke down towards the 50, and is now rallying yet again up towards the 20 exponential moving average, trending at 0 0.1145. Technically, they are all turning around except for the MACD. It is bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is still bearish but heading towards zero, and the RSI is kind of bullish at this current stage so yes um, cryptocurrency uh, rallied took a massive hit lost roughly uh, 20 to 30 percent of its value in uh, two weeks give or take and now it looks like we are about to rally yet again whether or not this basically means that we are rallying back towards the previous highs or even higher than that that is to be seen um they're they're appearing more and more cryptocurrencies every day if people go towards uh, look and investment.com you can basically see that there are over 5,000 cryptos and uh, that should not board well for the cryptocurrency market because that basically means higher supply of cryptos that should mean overall a lower value for everything so let's um Hopefully, hopefully you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.